so long ago, Tasmania was a simple place of apples and forests, apart from the occasional riot over damming and a racket of chainsaws felling trees in the bush. It was a quiet place for men with beards and sensible shoes, but wow, hasn't that changed? Thankfully, the rioters have chilled and the chainsaws are under control because there's a new movement afoot down here in Tasmania, and it's powered by booze. It's as if Hobart became the host city of the Alcohol Olympics. Someone fired the starter gun and the joint went nuts everywhere you look. There seems to be a new local beer, wine, gin, brandy, rum or whiskey. Be it a brew, hooch, grog, tipple, slug, shot, snifter or snort. Hobart's got you covered. And just wait until you see what Hobart does with a cocktail. One of Hobart's finest hotels, the Henry Jones, also boasts one of its best bars. With friends, you know. The IXL Long Bar is the epitome of the warmth and charm this state has become known for. As much as I'd like to think it, it can't just be booze that's behind the surge in interest in Hobart. What do you reckon's behind it? Uh, look, I think David Walsh has a lot to do with it. Uh, Mona opened about nine years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure about two years ago it was one of the, the most visited attractions uh, in Australia. So that just infuses the glass. Yeah, just a little smoke on the, uh, on the glass. That's generally the reaction that uh, everybody has. So it just releases some of the oils and really brings those aromats out as well. Well, that's a Rosa Mary, easily our biggest selling cocktail in the bar. Wow. It's herbal, it's uh, fruity, it's a touch creamy, that's amazing. Directly opposite and housed within the ultra stylish Mac One Hotel is Evolve Spirits Bar. This bar may look hip and modern, and it is, but also it's really quite old and decrepit. The Evolve Spirits Bar has over 350 spirits of the modern alcoholic kind, but it's also got several more of the millions of years old paleontological kind, if there is such a word, trapped here as fossils. This bar has a motto from Curiosity, Discovery Evolves, and ain't that the truth? I've had a few nights in bars where exactly that has happened. Look again for you, my friend. Have you got a fossilised gin or spirit of some sort? I've got the perfect dram for you. Great. Now that's the spirit. Still on the waterfront is a floating four-storey pier that has become one of Hobart's frontrunners for drinking and dining. With 217 spirits behind me, this is hardly the joint to order a beer. The emphasis here is on liquor from independent distillers cocktailed with produce from local growers. Oh, and that. Cheers. The opulence rounds of the glass house make this a local favourite. What are you making here? So I'm making a twist on a little classic called the London Calling. Using London Calling. London Calling. The Clash. That's it. Fantastic. So we're going to use some fresh blueberries yeah. and some Tasmanian gin. And this gin's from Poltergeist Distillery, and it's an old colonial property in Brighton. It's about 200 years old. So what's that? So it's a blueberry crisp we make here at the glass house. And uh, the only other question really is, how are you supposed to drink that? That's a very good question. <laughs> Eat the crisp and then the cocktail. That's good. You better visit this bar early in the evening, otherwise you might find it difficult explaining it to the Uber driver. It's called Bala Izakaya. The product of two brothers with a keen passion for food, booze and the Japanese way of life, Bawa Izakaya draws inspiration locally and blends it with Japanese flavour. So we've got um, three different sakis here to try. First one is just a real traditional style try. Oh, that's very smooth, that first one, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah. That's really smooth too. Mm. I'm so used but... to sake that it just goes... <laughs> Getting through the sakis alone was a few visits, but it's the food that has become the big draw card. 
Rooney Island Wallaby Tasaki, native Pepperberry Ponzu, and Tasmanian Shima Wasabi, garnished with a crispy shallot. Wow. So that's kind of covered Japan. Yep. Do you cover Tasmania? We could do you a cocktail, which has got a bit of Japan and a bit of Tasmania in it. It is a um, bit of gin. We infuse some Japanese shochu with Tasmanian pepperberries. Um, shake it up and uh, we'll be very white to make it a bit of a fine. Wow. That is beautiful. That's amazing. Who would have thought a pink drink from the land of the rising sun down here in the natural state? A classic example of the way Tasmania is headed.